Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of the 2018 BSTAT BMAT series. And here in this video, we'll be discussing problem number seven. And here you go with the seventh problem, which says that you have ABC to be three natural numbers such that a square plus b square is equal to c square and c minus b is equals to one given. So the first part you have proved that a is odd. Second part b is divisible by 4 and the third part a to the power b plus b to the power a is divisible by c so whenever this type of problems are given with several parts so some of the parts will be easier so as you can see that the first part here says that a is odd so let's try to prove that so you have that c is equals to b plus 1 and in the equation a square plus b square is equals to c square you just plug in the value of c that is b plus 1 so c square is b plus 1 whole square and so you get that a square plus b square is b square plus 2b plus 1 and now this b square b square gets cancelled out and you get that a square is equals to 2b plus 1 and this implies that a square is odd and which implies that a is odd why because if a is even then a square also has to be even so the first part is done now let's go for case 2 so you see that we have proved in case 1 that a square is equals to 2b plus 1 and since a is odd so we can say that a square is congruent to 1 mod 8 and so what is a square that is 2b plus 1 which is congruent to 1 mod 8 and so you have that 2b is congruent to 0 mod 8 and so you have that 8 divides 2b and this implies that 4 divides b now let's go for the third part which says that a to the power b plus b to the power a is divisible by c so if we need to show this we have to first identify the relations between a and b so that we can uh, use congruency and see that when c divides this things what are the remainders so the relation that has been given to us that is c minus b is equals to 1 so let's use it and from there i get that b is equals to c minus 1 and so a to the power b plus now replacing b by c minus 1 so here we have c minus 1 whole to the power a and now remember that a is an odd number we have proved it in the first part and so a to the power b plus b to the power a which is equals to a to the power b plus c minus 1 whole to the power a and this is congruent to a to the power b plus minus 1 whole to the power a mod c and this is congruent to a to the power b minus 1 mod c as a is odd and now it remains to show that a to the power b minus 1 is divisible by c so now you remember that b is divisible by 4 so let b be equals to 4 times some m where m belongs to the natural numbers and now replacing b by 4m so we have a to the power 4m minus 1 which we have to show that this is divisible by c and so i have a square whole to the power 2m minus 1 and now why did i bring this to a square because i have some relation given with a square 
which is nothing but a square plus b square is equals to c square and so from here i have a square is equals to c square minus b square and this in turn becomes c minus b times c plus b and you see that we have what is c minus b that's also given that is 1 and this becomes c plus b and again replacing b by c minus 1 so we have this to be equals to 2c minus 1 you see b is equals to c minus 1 here and so we replace a square by 2c minus 1 whole to the power 2m which is an even integer and minus 1 now this is congruent to minus 1 whole to the power 2m minus 1 mod c and you see that since we have 2m to be even so this becomes congruent to 1 minus 1 that is 0 mod c so we have proved that a to the power 4m minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod c and which in turn proves that a to the power b plus b to the power a is congruent to 0 mod c.